stop us now. But there is one thing standing in our way. One last Jedi who has yet to choose his true role in the galaxy. If he joins us on the path to darkness, those who fight alongside him will follow. But if he takes the path of a Jedi, those who join him will feel the vengeance of the dark side. to the 2003 game of the year. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Hello folks, this is Hescon Spy, the spy. We're going to be coming to you live for Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, The Sith Lords. Now, um, it's... Now this game it has this production that came after the Star Wars Nuts for Republic where Darth Revan and and where the Revan the redeemed with his new companions had saved the galaxy from Darth Malak. So um and the timeline period of this game that we're going to be talking about, the win in the Pacifics is that it's been five years since that in game production and since that uh, and final battle between Revan and Malik and the Republic and the Sith so um with things been going on we're going to be getting things started here now and Star Wars starts of the Republic the Sith Wars it has some new features that has been made or seen in the last old Republic game. So, in this one, you're going to see all the new features that's been added into this game. And it may be some new places that I haven't gone to yet. Now, with a further introduction, let's see what we can do about this, so we can go to the new game. Now, it's not going to be like soldier, scout, or scoundrel classes. It's just going to be about Jedi Guardian class, or Jedi Sentinel class, or Jedi Consular class. Now. Um, I guess we could go with the Jedi Guardian class. Alright. It's going to be a different hero, a different phase, and a different destiny journey. So it's not going to have the Hescon spy name. No, 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 no. It's going to be way too confusing shit. So. Go with that. Yep, this will do. Okay, I think I see the deal here. That is much better. That is much better. Alright, I'm definitely going to need to uh, do something about computer uses and repair system. 
but hopefully I'll be able to get a chance. Yeah, it's going to be probably my bad. Ooh. Already bad. Very nice. What the? War veteran? Oh, I definitely got to see that. Got to see what's the deal is about that. Oh, can't really do that. Damn it. Um... Yeah, toughness. Definitely go with toughness. Um, Alright. It's been a long time since I've been doing this system, uh, but it's kind of a little bit new to me too, so I'm kind of in the same boat here. Now for the name. Um, all right, um, okay, I think this will do. Bird's last name. Yeah, sorry guys, it's a little bit hard for me to decide if the last name and how to say this name. Hmm. Arthur Ark. <sighs> this will do nicely, very nicely, I feel good with this, alrighty, well for further introduction ladies and gentlemen, let's move onward and begin our new quest in this new Star Wars game of the Old Republic. After durations of five years. <clears throat> a long time ago in a galaxy far away. is a perilous time for the galaxy a brutal civil war has all but destroyed the Jedi Order leaving the alien Republic on the verge of collapse 
amid the turmoil. The evil Sith has spread across the galaxy, hunting down and destroying the remaining Jedi Knights. Nary escaping a deadly Sith ambush, the last known Jedi clings to life aboard a battered freighter near the ravaged world of Paracas. Damn. Anything good that the galaxy would suffer after five years of how the Sith will but be defeated in the last form. Hmm. Well, all surprises. Hold on, that freighter, it's Is that the Evan Hawk? Oh my god. What have they done to you, girl? I'm gonna find whoever did this to my ship. Huh? It has a screen of the droid, so. Hey, that, that noise. I know that noise anywhere. It's T3. Ah, uh, hell yeah. Called it? Oh, man. So this is a prologue. Okay, I'm going to continue in the, uh, anyway. Ooh, this is interesting. It's been a long time, I know, so I'm going to give you the refund. Um, fates are like skills that uh, app that anybody can be able to use. Like for blaster shots or like men like combat sword style. But apparently in this game it's going to have some different things. Like that wasn't there the last scene in the last game. So hmm. Range you can have multiple skills, feeds or powers in each Action, scroll up or down with the D-pad to circle through various options. Okay, let's get this out of the way so that we can understand of these um, behaviors, I think, and there are aggressive behavior. Characters using the aggressive behavior will attack any enemies they see regardless of their distance from the character you are controlling. They will use whatever weapon they have equipped. Huh, okay. Interesting. What about range? Characters using the range behavior will attack any enemies they see but will stay within 10 meter, meters of the character you are patrolling. They will use ranged weapons, but if they are attacked in melee, they will automatically switch to melee weapons until they are no longer threatened. Okay, it looks like the um, creators of the Old Republic had gotten uh, that one right. Okay. Start gives you access to your character's record, sheet, inventory, map, journal, and other menus. Use the left and right triggers to scroll through the menu screens. Press start to exit the menu and return to the normal gameplay. Well, this is a lot different than last time I looked at this thing. 
Okay, it seems to me uh, the switch weapons is going to be a thing right now. Hello, buddy. What happened to all your best equipment? You had good parts, good equipped weapons, and such. Well, when we receive this game for free, you'll be able to have those again, or maybe even better. Most areas you can use the party selection screen to quickly switch party members in and out as you need them. This is done instantly and without having to return to your base or the oven hog. Characters switched out of your party will wait for you back at your base or the oven hog. Remember, any equip items will remain on the character, so these items will not show up in your inventory. When a character is removed from the party, you will have to add the character in your, to your party again if you wanted to add to their equipment items. Okay. Uh, two number available slots. Really wish that the people in charge of the Old Republic could have changed that to like, I don't know, three people. So that way it would be like a fair deal. But the number is at least uh, different because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was like nine slots the last time I looked at this thing, but now it's ten slots. That's an improvement, at the least. Alright, um, let's move onward. We'll get to the galaxy map at a later date. For right now, um, okay, let's go, go over the behaviors first. Stationary characters using stationary behavior will attack any enemies within range, but will not move during combat. Okay. Uh, definitely keep an open mind about that one. Characters using the grenade or behavior will attack any enemies they see, but will also use grenades against cluster of enemies. Only non-Jedi can use this behavior. Okay, good to know. Okay, the good behavior for... Um, I guess uh, two three can be on the grenade behavior. Hmm. Active quest screens includes important information related to your ongoing adventures. Refer to the, this journal for hints and guidelines uh, throughout the game. I'm just speaking about this. I'm just speaking uh, them out loud for you guys to understand of uh, the details of how the games work again so that you won't get confused and such. It's going to be Apparently, the cases and boxes and even cinders are, could appear empty. Very helpful. Could have been added in the last game. Alright, slice them to the system using one spike. The computer spikes are like uh, what you see in that cinder box and the repair parts it's for repairing joids or any kinds of uh, manual stuff. I've been gone for five years in this game and look what happened. I wonder what the hell happened uh, to my companions. My old companions. Alright, got 
I bash this damn thing. Here's guys. Been hearing that banging noise for a while. from the inside, right? Which means that whatever's in there is going to be coming out anytime soon. But probably, hopefully not during this prologue. Hmm. Probably. And these are the repair parts I was mentioning from before. Blast doors. Well, there I am. Hopefully, there isn't something in this medical storage bin that can stabilize. Um, my new avatar. The med pack has stabilized your condition. Success, you are stabilized. To recover fully, you will require the medical facilities at the Prague is my location, but you are not in any danger of dying from your wounds right now. Hmm, that's good to know. Something to keep an open mind about. Uh, the security uh, skill is just like something only a handful of people, of companions, can be able to just open stuff to access block stuff. That was an unadded from the last scene. There's one part we can use. Still can translate from what George are saying yet. Um, D D Tree D. It's like the first time that I actually had to um control the other companions to speak and without having them to speak. I think T three was um. <sighs> well, sorry. Exactly, a bastard joy impact armor, but it's start.
Hmm, finally, a pistol. What the? Oh, really? on this area spot. Okay. Good. still be able to go through the semis of switching hairdos. It's been a long time since I've actually had to do that. Folks, this is uh, a game with difficulty setting, so. Alright, normal difficulty. I'll leave that there on the Act 1 until. Uh, well, until then. Until such a time that I can be able to want to change the um, difficulty at later math. seems familiar along with the broken items and that we just found out they weren't added into the game before alright alright um good thing I can start the soul mode on the button Our door, which is that one. Yep, thought so. And then open the inner door. No. That spot is where HK47 used to um, stand by and wait. <laughs> I remember some of the talks that he and I had when um, when we wanted to talk about things about what I used to do as Darth Revan or what exactly he's been doing, but mostly it's began. I remember this conversation when HK didn't really like my um, old apprentice, Darth Revan, uh, Darth Malik, uh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd be missing that. That spot is where we used to, where the Stroop Rider used to station at, and where Candor's used to stand there for. He and I have been telling his war stories of the time of the Mandalorian Wars. We know why the component was the components and broken items are used for. Hmm, this is kind of a little bit new for me, so 
Kit. Hmm. Hold on. That's new. Very cute little banana nerds. I think it's. I think you can be able to use items to be able to. To be able to repair the um. Join or use Mech Kid or any other items to um, help the other companions in your party to either heal up or to uh, stamina up. <sighs> Alright, folks, I'm going to need to put a stop to here and talk to these messages. So this has gone spy, the spy, sign up for now.